in the Edinburgh Derby. The big question, of course, had the grass been cut? Commentary comes from Rob McLean. Four changes to the Hearts team beaten by Celtic on Sunday. Hughes, Cochrane, Milinkovic and Amankwa take over from Suter, Callaghan, Cowie and Moore. Only one change for Hibbs on the back of a goalless draw to Todry. Barker for McLaren as Neil Lennon's team looks to keep alive their hopes of finishing second. Christoph Vera's free kick aiming for Kyle Lafferty. Hamlin headed it clear. That's a good turn though from Lafferty. He finds Michael Smith and Stephen Naismith hits the deck. And he's looking for a penalty. And referee Craig Thompson says no. Was there contact here from F.A. Ambrose? The claims are waved away. Michael Smith and Kyle Lafferty, the two Northern Irishmen. This is Milinkovic. Hearts piling on the pressure. Naismith with the pass. And Kyle Lafferty is in. In the big games, he scores big goals. That's his 19th of the season. And uh, what a bit of footwork this was on the end of the pass from Naismith. Stevenson switched off, but look at those two touches from Lafferty. He gets the ball out from under his feet. He beats Marciano, and it's 1-0 Hearts in the derby. That is a big blow for Hibbs. What have they got in response? Advantage is played, and Brandon Barker with the shot on his right foot. And it was beaten away by John McLaughlin. Smith, Amankwa, gathered by Milinkovic, it's a driving run. This is Harry Cochran with a big chance to make it 2-0. He's already scored one memorable goal this season, and almost another one. Interception by Danny Mitchell, but he runs into Dylan McGeoch, and now it's Scott Allen, stretching the harsh goalkeeper, but not finding a way through. A doubt. Smith overran it. Just as well, he didn't make contact there. It's Lewis Stevenson for Hibbs. Scott Allen couldn't gather it. In goes Adair, that's dangerous. And it's a penalty. And Hibbs have the chance right after half time to level things up. He hung out a leg. Adair, down went Stevenson. Penalty. It had to be. Big moment. Flo Camberry with the emphatic finish. It's his eighth Hibbs goal. And it's a big one. It's 1-1 at Tyne Castle. Can Hibbs turn this around? As they chase runners-up spot in the Premiership. No arguments about that decision. Lafferty and Hamlin, and down goes the Hearts goal scorer. Free kick given. Looked to be a delayed reaction. Harry Cochran with the free kick on Stephen Naismith with the glancing header. And Hearts are celebrating again. They're back in front, and they are determined to kill off Hibbs' chances of a runners-up finish. And it's Naismith. All he needed was a touch. There was all the pace on the ball, and he diverts it wide of Marciano. A driving run from Sleevecut. And this is Brandon Barker, and it's over the top, and it's a chance for Hibbs to get this back to 2-2. All the frustration 
is written over Neil Lennon's face. Can Hibbs salvage something here at Tyne Castle? A Dow's pass heavily hit. Interception by Slivka. Barker plays it in, and Darren McGregor misses a massive chance right in front of goal. Camberry with the follow up attempt, but that seemed to be on a plate for McGregor. Overall, um, it's been a disappointing season for us, and um, I don't think we've, we've probably turned up and played our best football against Hibs this season, but today I think everything clicked and we put it right and we had the we played football, we, we fought for every single ball and at the end of it we came away with three points. Disappointed in the manner of the goals more than anything else. You know, both could have been dealt with better. And we emphasised against Aberdeen, we emphasised, you know, against Hearts, the set players were going to be important. Our set players were dreadful. Hearts put one decent ball in the box and we can't defend it properly and um, that's the difference between you know, the, the, the game tonight, we missed really good chances at the end. But we didn't show enough composure at times in the game. And, um, y you know, you have to be physical in the derby, but you also have to show composure at times as well. Well, it was a great, great night for Hearts. But a painful, painful result for Hibernian. Of course it was. You see it etched on Neil Lennon's <laughs> face. Very measured in the broadcast interview that we just heard there. But later... Talking to the papers, he said, we look like we're going to finish fourth, which is unacceptable for me. I will reconsider my position now in the summer. So Neil Lennon casting doubts on his own future at Hibernian, Stephen Thompson. Surprised by that? Uh, it's the heat at <coughs> the moment, isn't it? I think um, he's an emotional person. We know that, yeah. Neil Lennon. I think when he takes a step back, you realise just what the team have achieved this season. And the players have really given him their all. Uh, and I think he can be really pleased. You know, finishing fourth in the league very narrowly behind Aberdeen, who have been second uh, so many years in a row now, three in a row, and yeah. Rangers with their budget. There's no disgrace there. But I think you've got to look at it and say, do you know what, we've had a really decent season and we can build on that. Because he has built this team. <coughs> we can build on that. Next What's your thoughts on it, James? Because he does go on to say, maybe I am a bit over-emotional at the minute, but fourth isn't good enough. Yeah, I think, you know, when, when Neil speaks in his interviews, he's always... He tries to be as honest as he can, and mm -hmm. you can see the emotion there. I know he was quite measured, but he's a, an emotional guy. And the thing for me is he backs his team. He's disappointed that he feels his team are good enough to finish second in the league. Yeah. And I think he's you know, just disappointed that, that that's not going to be the case this season. And it shows you you know, how far they've come, what he's built there, and with you know, another couple of years, how far they can actually go. Um, so little me. between the, yeah. the, the three teams uh, that were racing it out for second for me. It's yeah, not, yeah, it's not it's not a disgrace for them to finish fourth. They're just newly promoted, and there were many people, yourself included, <laughs> yes. were tipping them for second place. Absolutely, so that shows you how far they've what come. What does he know? Uh, exactly. <laughs> now that's gone, uh, Stephen Thompson. <laughs> it was a robust, a robust affair, wasn't it? Uh, uh, it ended in disappointment for Hibs. There was absolutely no shortage of passion and determination from both sides. I felt as though Hearts probably edged the physical battle. I mean, this is what you're expecting from the Edinburgh Derby, full-blooded, fully committed, tough tackling, aggression, sometimes too much. Did Hearts win this battle? I felt as though they did. I felt as though they did. I felt as though, I mean, that's just wild, <laughs> Camadeo. Yeah, I don't know like what you're right, lucky the ball was, you know, the referee yeah. blowing his whistle. But you're expecting, these are the things you expect from a Derby game. I think then after that, they showed more within the match to go and win it than Hibernian did. And I think it's testament to Hearts that, they stopped Hibernian from being the creative force that sure. they normally are. So they defended well, um, and I felt as though they created the better opportunities within the game. Should this have been a penalty for Hearts? Well, no, but again, we've had a lot of time to pour over it, and we've managed to find the reason why we don't think it is. If you look at Naismith's left foot here, there's been no contact so far. He kicks the back of Effie Ambrose's foot, and that's what essentially trips him up. So... It wasn't Effie mm. Ambrose necessarily that made the contact. It was Naismith into him. This is uh, the goal. You, you watch Kyle Lafferty after he leaves the ball off here. Naismith's in a bit of space. Nice wee be decent pass back in, but Lewis Smith is, uh, is sleeping and doesn't realise that Kyle Lafferty's come on around Good the finish. shoulder. But this is so innovative and alert and clever from Kyle Lafferty to do the old top spin toe poke. you ever done one of them? No, I can't. It goes to the side. Oh, I can't believe it. And it hurts my toes. Lewis Stevenson, though, redeemed himself to an extent by at least winning his side of penalty. Yes, he did. And this is, you know, Lewis Stevenson's had a fantastic season. Mr Hibernian. And he gets forward here, plays the ball in, and he's the first to react when it, when it comes back to him. 
And Nadal puts in a lazy leg and makes it an easy decision. It's a penalty for me. You see it from this yeah. side. You know, he's never going to win the ball. It's, it's the way he's played. You, you saw some of the tackles he comes in. He's right on the edge. And sometimes, you know, he lets himself down. It's a penalty kick all day long. And as you say, Lewis Stevenson redeeming redeem himself to, an, to a point. And it's a fantastic finish from Canberra, who, again, has popped up with, with a, an important goal at the time. Now, the Stephen A. Smith header, Stephen Thompson, you convinced he was onside yet? <laughs> I think his left earlobe might be offside, but we'll give him the onside benefit of the doubt. Regardless of that, it's poor from Hibernian defensively. He's got wrong side uh, defensively of Hibernian. Uh, I think it's Louis Stevenson. You see him there. He's got to be goal side. But he does really well, uh, Naismith, because he's got to really manoeuvre his head to get any purchase yeah. on the ball. And it's a decent finish. Uh, but it's slack uh, from Hibernian. Hugely disappointing night for Hibs. Obviously, they can't finish second anymore. In fact, Aberdeen now guaranteed European football next season. Natural order restored. Hart still 17 points behind Hibernian, James. That's well, the bottom line. Well, that's it. You know, yeah. Hart's... Uh, have turned up tonight, you know, <coughs> go back to the last time they played in the Edinburgh Derby, they never, they didn't even have a shot on target, so that was more like Hearts tonight, so for Hearts, their natural order in terms of their intensity, you know, their, their desire, their commitment, that was restored, but Hibs are finishing, you know, they're 17 points ahead of them, there's a long way for Hearts to go to catch Hibs. I'd agree with that. That's I think a disappointing season for Hibs, you know, the way Neil Lennon's speaking, yeah. he's disappointed, yet they finish 17, or they are 17 points ahead of their, their Edinburgh rivals. Hearts should enjoy tonight. You know, sure. they've won the derby, they've earned it, but they've been behind uh, Hibernian by a bit of distance this season. Hibernian have brought a real level of consistency to their play, especially since January. Hearts at home, we know, have been mm. brilliant, but they need to find that away form next season as well. You think we found